hello and welcome again this is Vishnu Mahali and in this video I'm going to show you the process of purchasing and installing monster insights on your website so I'm just going to their websites to purchase it and this is their official website so you have to uh, buy it uh, if you want the pro version otherwise you can also download the free version and use it and in this tutorial I'm going to purchase the uh, pro version right here as you can see in the pricing page I'm going to uh, buy this plan uh, which is the pro plan which is available for five sites so whichever plan is suitable for you select that and click on this get started button uh, they will automatically apply a coupon here as you can see this is a 50% discount applied to uh, this uh, checkout page but I will clear this because I have a different coupon for me which I'll be using to purchase it if you have a coupon you can uh, click on this have a coupon button and then enter your coupon code and apply I will go I'm going to apply my coupon code here okay so click on apply as you can see I have applied my coupon code and it's uh, the total amount is now zero zero which is uh, for me especially but you have to purchase it uh, uh, if you use my link you will get a 50% discount if you want and now fill up the details here click on this complete checkout button uh, depending on the price as I am not paying anything you might get a payment option here and the process of purchasing would be different but I uh, the installation process will be uh, completely similar so I'm going to show you that here you can choose uh, what what best describes you I'm going to choose uh, publisher slash blogger save and continue basic details what is the name of your company I'm going to type blogger self save and complete what is your role at the uh, blogger so I'm the founder and CEO saving what would you like to track I would like to track e-commerce transaction form conversion banner ads affiliate links links to other websites and nothing else GDPR compliant tracking uh, maybe this then seven continue now all you have to do is the, uh, download the plugin from here you can see this download now button click on this button to download the plugin and I'm going to keep it on the desktop okay the plugin is downloaded now the step 2 is upload to your WordPress app site and then step 3 is add your license key and this is my license key here I will blur it obviously so I'm back to my website here WordPress website now I'll go to the dashboard to upload the plugin which we have downloaded so I'm going to this add new plugins then add new now here I'll click on this upload plugin button and now I'll choose the plugin file that we downloaded uh, which was in the desktop folder so here it is so I have selected this uh, plugin file that I that we have downloaded now let's click on this install now button the plugin is uploading as you can see the plugin is installed successfully and now we will click in this activate plugin button to activate the plugin now this is the welcome page by monster inside that you will see after activating the plugin now we will uh, look for the link uh, in the sidebar or the side panel of the WordPress dashboard you can see there's an uh, this 
our text here or option which says insights you have to click on that then go to settings and we have to paste our license key here so let's get the license key from your monster insights account and paste it here and then uh, then click on this verify button to verify your license as you can see verification was successful now click on ok you can authenticate your Google Analytics account from clicking on this connect monster insights button here log into your Google account click allow and then choose your website from the list or if you have only one website then uh, it will be selected automatically and you can click on the complete connection button right here finalizing authentication all right now as you can see the Google authentication is done this all uh, this a uh, launch setup widget thing let's click on that I'm doing it for the first time myself as well so let's see how it goes business website publisher blog e-commerce I would say publisher blog for now although it's business website and website profile okay skip and keep connection here if you haven't connected your uh, Google Analytics then you can connect from here as well I'll just click on this skip and keep connection which is not for uh, not working for some reason okay let's click on the reconfigure connect sorry login again allow select the website okay it's done must have for all click tracking on site I have enabled it enhanced link attribution improves the accuracy of your page in page of your in page analytics okay it is enabled helps you see file download data okay affiliate link tracking helps you increase your affiliate revenue I use this option but all of this option will be you know uh, calculated label okay this is okay for me who can see reports admin admin install updates automatically uh, let's turn it on for me you might want to disable it uh, because some updates may uh, break your site so be aware of that and enable it if you want to i have enabled it save and continue and there are some install add-on option here to enhance the tracking for in, uh, for example this will monster insights forms uh, an add-on will track form submissions and things like that i will install it for this demo purpose and monster insight page insights see important metric for individual post pages in your wordpress dashboard okay i'll install this as well you can also click on this view all monster insight add-ons to see all of them monster insight page insights i have installed it monster insight see who is clicking on your google adsense banner ads i will install this i don't need amp monster insight dimension track authors categories text searches users and more i'll install this monster insight e-commerce right now i'm not using it but uh, i'm planning for uh, creating a member site and uh, courses so i'll install this later monster insight U eu compliance i need it monster insight facebook instant article i don't need, need it right now monster insights google optimize and I use this so 
monster insights performance adjust site speed and sample rate for google analytics okay seven continue and this is it multiple tracking code you should remove non-monster inside one if you need help finding them please read this article okay so i had already installed google analytics so i will have to remove those tracking codes to properly uh, set it up so i'll do that but if you haven't enabled any google if you haven't put any google analytics code on your website then you are good to go and then you can click on this finish setup and exit wizard well it's done as you can see congratulations and you can click on this view report button to see your reports like this which is amazing i guess so this is the report for my website right now and you will be able to see yours of course so so this is how you set up your monster insights plugin on your wordpress website i hope you like the video if you like the video please like and maybe comment below what your what's your thoughts or if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos like this thank you so much for watching